Hi, this is Rajiv Singh Shetty, founder of Authentech Hyderabad. In my channel, you'll be able to see lots of video tutorials based on documentation tools with in-depth details. So, the training tutorials that you can expect from my channel are Microsoft Word, Microsoft Visual, Adobe RoboHelp, Adobe FrameMaker, Camtasia, Adobe Captivate, Confluence, Marquee Flare, and WordPress. So, to begin with, I have chosen Microsoft Word to start the tutorials. In Microsoft Word, the styles play a very, very important role in building any technical document. I just can't imagine any technical document without using the styles. So, let's get started with learning about the styles. In this video, we are going to learn what exactly is the style and how do we create a style, what is the style type, what is style based on? What is the style for the following paragraph? And how to assign a shortcut key? So, let's get started with the blank Microsoft Word document. So, I have opened a blank Word document and for which I already have some sample data. So, I'm just copy pasting the content from other page. So, this document you can see there are three pages and you can see that there is a plain format, there is no heading or the subheading defined. Now, generally what we do to define this as a heading, we format it to look at better and the bigger. Like example, here in my document, Rohit Sharma is a heading. So, to make this look like a heading, what generally people do is we create we change the heading here from here and increase the font size and change the color accordingly. But this is not the right way. The right way to change the format of a heading is through styles. The best practice what we should follow as a technical writer is we should take an oath saying that we, should, we will never ever touch this font group or the paragraph group. If you do any format changes from font group or the paragraph group, the changes are not applied throughout the document. So how do we do that? We should always use the styles to format the content. So we can either use the existing styles or we can create our own customized styles. Now let's learn how to create our customized styles. To create a customized styles, on the styles group, you can see on the right hand side, there is one small button here. So just click on this button, then you will be able to see this is styles window. To get this window, you can either click here or with the shortcut key is you can press Alt O S. You press Alt O S, you can see the styles window at the right side corner. Now at the bottom you can see there are three buttons. So the first one is this new style, next to style inspector and the manage styles. We will look at these two buttons later on but now our agenda is to create the new style. So just click on this button new style. Now you see here the properties for creating a new style. So name. So just provide a name to the style. Remember, the style name should be a readable and it should make sense with. Never ever give your own name or any other funny names to the style because that makes it very difficult to retrieve it later. So let's provide a name to a style. So in my case here, I'll just give it as main heading. In the style type, you have to define what type of style it is. If I Click on the drop down, you can see the paragraph. It's generally, for the headings, subheadings, and the content, we select para paragraph. And next to the character. So, character style is if you want to apply the style only to a particular a letter or the word, not for the entire sentence or the paragraph. Now, similarly, the paragraph and the character are like linked here. And this is the table. If you want to create a table style, you can select the table from the list. 
and the last one that the list if you want to create a numbering list like sequencing either it is 1 to 3 or a b c d or roman number 1 to 3 4 you can select that list in my case here it is only a paragraph now for the style based on we can look at this later when we create the subheading the style for the following paragraph so if you see in the drop down there are almost all the styles that you have in the document for the style for the following paragraph as the name mentions here if i press enter at the main heading what should be the next style so generally after the main heading it should be the subheading because i don't have the subheading as of now because i not created i will leave it as normal so what will happen in my document is if i press enter after writing the main heading it will automatically take me to the if so now in this case what will happen is if i press enter at main heading the following style will automatically be a, a normal style okay yeah so if i press enter after writing the if i press enter after the main heading the next immediate style would be in a normal style by default so now you have given a style name now next the task is select a font family for the style example i just select it as calibri light heading and because it is a main heading for me i have select the font as 16 and i make it bold and i will assign a color to a style let's say i apply this color and i click okay so when i click okay you can see that my main heading style is just there in my styles gallery and it automatically got applied here because my cursor was placed there similarly now i want to apply the same style to the other headings in my document here the other cricketer names so i just place the cursor at shikhar down here and click oh, this one okay so virat kohli and here now every time i do not want to do this task like why should i you know, click on the name and go to the main heading and click on that it would be really nice if i can assign a shortcut key to apply a style yes in microsoft word we can do that there is a very luxurious option for us so for that what we need to do is just right click on the style for which you want to assign the shortcut key click modify you can see the modify style window appears at the bottom click format click shortcut key and here you give a sensible shortcut key what we need to note is we should not assign any shortcut key with the combination of control because the control a to control z and control 0 to control 9 is a predefined shortcut key for performing couple of events now what i do is click in press new shortcut key and i assign with the combination of alt and m similarly for second heading i can give it alt s and alt t for the third heading and just once you give this alt m click assign to close click okay to close this modify style window and now here the kl rahul is my heading again so i will apply the shortcut key which is alt and m you can see that a uh, style has been applied similarly we we'll do it for prithvi shah alt n is perfect so without going to the go to and clicking on to the style name i'm able to do the just with the help of a shortcut key again alt n so this is what applying a shortcut key to a style i'm sure you have liked this video thank you